Hooked Up Fishing presents Punching Grass, brought to you by v &M Baits. Give the fish what they really want. Hey guys, Mike Farr here with VNM. We're out here on Toledo Bend today. We've got a new little jig out. It's called the VNM Pacemaker Elite Punch Jig. Uh, we've got a lot of high drill out here on Toledo Bend. A lot of guys are familiar with punching. Uh, some guys over in East Texas, they like to call it dropping. We're going to go drop the Elite Punch Jig in some of this grass and uh, see what we can make happen. Uh, sun's straight up over our heads. Uh, post front should be ideal conditions, but it could be a little tough because it is the fall and we may be on the tail end of this grass pipe. We're going to have Kevin Jean also with v and is going to be joining us, and out, joining us out here and uh, hopefully we can punch us up one of those great big Toledo Bend Hydrella Gorillas. Now when your bait gets to the bottom, you want to click it over, you want to check it. A lot of times if you feel anything that's unusual, you may want to go on and set the hook because a lot of times they'll hit it as the bait's falling. If not, what you want to do is you want to give it a couple hops on the bottom, a couple hops on the bottom, and because we're fishing deeper grass here on Toledo Bend, I like to, on the way in, I like to give it a pop, a pause, a pop, a pause, a pop, and a pause. Because a lot of times in fish, they'll hit it on the way up, and if you pause it for just that little bit of second, it'll allow him to get it in. Otherwise, if you just crank it on in, you might miss it. When you're punching grass, you really want to pay attention because you're going to go so long between strikes that when you least expect it, you're going to get that bite and you're going to miss it. In a tournament, you know, you can't afford to miss fish. That's not exactly what we're looking for, but that's a nice little keeper. When fishing V&M's new Pacemaker Series Elite Punch Jig, you're going to want to throw it on a heavy rod, a fast retrieve reel, and you're going to have braided line. I personally like the Daiwa 8 to 1 Tatula. I've got a TFO 711 Mag Heavy Rod, and I've got 65 pound braid. Now a lot of people ask me, why braid? Why not fluorocarbon? Isn't braid visible? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Grass is pretty dense, low light conditions, low visibility, you know, grass, in some cases, most of the braided line's green, so it kind of matches it. So it's kind of camouflaged. But if you're like me, sometimes that fish hits it, you set the hook too early. The low stretch that braid has, actually no stretch that braid has, allows me to account for that and get better hookups when I set the hook a little too early. Another thing is, if that fish hits it a lot of times, he takes off. He's gone left, right, forward, back. You need to get his head turned. That, the low stretch allows you to do that, but it also cuts through the grass. It cuts through it kind of like a saw. Now you don't want to overpower your fish. You always just want to kind of keep pressure on them. But when you set that hook, if that fish has moved two foot to the right, a lot of times you set that hook, it cuts right through that grass. So it allows you to get better hook up, allows you to get that head turned, and allows you to control that fish. Get him and swap him. Oh, he hit So here in front of you we have 12 of the Pacemaker Elite Punch Jigs. Uh, these are all ounce and a quarter. They also come in three quarter and one ounce. This is uh, 12 of the popular colors that come from our other Pacemaker lines. You'll notice tequila, bluegill, black blue, spray grass, threadfin, barfish. This is Bama Bug. We've got black, brown, and amber. We've got Okeechobee, We've got Magic Crawl, Moneymaker, and Green Crawl. Uh, I have also here laid out a few things that I like to use as trailers. We've got the, uh, this is our Bama Bug colored mud bug. This is a black and blue uh, baby swamp hog. Uh, the big swamp hog works also well if you're looking for a bigger profile bait. This is our black and blue beaver. 
uh, split tail beaver. This is the baby split tail beaver, which actually uh, to let today on Toledo Bend with the uh, high pressure conditions, it worked out a little bit better for us. And we've also had some bites and uh, caught a few fish on the uh, new cliff wild crawl. Well, guys, I hope our video has been helpful. Uh, we did not have the ideal conditions, and uh, you know we're not experts by any means, but we have learned a few things over the years about punching grass living in uh, living in Louisiana. So uh, the Elite Punch Jig is definitely the ideal jig for punching grass. Um, that tungsten head from Elite it makes it you know a smaller diameter, so it goes in and out of the cover a lot easier. Also, you your own hook of choice that you can Texas rig your soft plastic with makes that a lot better as well. Be sure to check them out at vnmbaits.com, your local retailer or your favorite online retailer. And uh, also follow us YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We hope to see you on the water. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's nice, bro.